Kind of an unusual guide today, but seemed pertinent enough since there are a few different reasons to get kudos for quests and achievement diaries, so I just figured I'd make a separate guide about it. First of all, kudos are just a score of how much you've helped the Varak Museum. They aren't an actual object that you can acquire. At the time of this guide, there are currently a max of 225 kudos a player can earn, with 28 from completing the Natural History Quiz, 50 coming from Cleaning Finds, which requires completion of the Dig Site Quest, and 75 from completing various other quests. The final 72 can be completed after completing the Bone Voyage Quest. You can see how many kudos you have by walking into the Varak Museum. And if nothing shows up, then you have zero kudos. First way to get kudos is to complete the natural history quiz. Go down the stairs from the main level and talk to Orlando Smith. He says he needs help putting together the information for some creature exhibits. Say sure thing when he asks for help. The order you answer the questions in doesn't matter, but I'm just going to go north. That seems like a good place to start. Click on the plaque in front of the exhibit and you'll see a panel pop up here. There are six possible questions for each exhibit that will display in a random order, but as soon as you get three correct, Lord Orlando will say, Bonza mate, I think that's all of them. And your museum kudos will increase by two. And if you're using the Runelight client, you'll even get the right answer light up in green. Bless their little hearts. Otherwise, I'm just gonna list all of the questions and their correct answers and you can just pause on each screen to check them. So here's all the answers for the displays in the north section. After you get all of them, you can run up the stairs the way you came and to another area. Here's the answers to the displays in the east section. Answers to the displays in the south. And answers to the west. Once you're all done, go back and talk to Orlando and he'll say, nice job. And you'll get a thousand experience each in Slayer and Hunter. Not too bad. Next, let's go back to the main floor for the second way of obtaining kudos, which is cleaning dig site objects. Again, to earn kudos this way, you have to have completed the dig site quest, which is a pretty easy quest. Uh, there's a link to my guide in the description. So for cleaning dig site finds, head on to this roped off area to the south. Spin the camera around and you'll see that there's a tool rack on the wall. Grab one of each of the tools and then put on the leather gloves and boots. Then from this lump over here, you can grab a dig site specimen rock. You can only take one at a time, which is fun. Use the uncleaned find on the table over here to clean it. Now there are five items that will give you kudos, and then one that will grant you the ability to make a dig site pendant, which is definitely recommended for the Bone Voyage quest and is an achievement diary task. The five items that we're looking for kudos are the ancient coin, the ancient symbol, pottery, the old coin and the old symbol. The dig site pendant item will just be called a clean necklace. For any of the other stuff you find, you can either drop it or use it on one of the boxes over here to get something exchanged, but it's mostly pretty garbage stuff. So continue to clean items until you find one of these six listed. As a note, you may get multiple pottery items, but only one needs to be added to the display case. After the first, the rest are garbage. Once you get one of the items, talk to one of the archeologists and tell him you found something interesting. If you have one of the special items, he'll talk to you about it and then tell you to put it on one of the display cases. Each item is associated with one of the display cases, so depending on the item, just use it on the corresponding display case. As soon as you add it to the case, you'll be given 10 kudos. Then repeat this until you have all the items in the cases. Getting all the items took me a solid 20 minutes of searching, but of course might be longer or shorter for you based on luck. So at this point you should have at least 78 kudos. The rest to get you to 100 for the Bone Voyage quest have to come from quest completion. The following quests are worth 5 kudos each, and the mini quest Curse of the Empty Lord is worth 10 kudos. I have guides on some of these so you can find links in the description. If you've done some of these quests, you can go upstairs in the museum and talk to Historian Minas. Select the option, I have some information that might be of use in your displays and then click through all of the dialogue and you'll see that your kudos have been given to you. At this point, if you're still not in the 100 kudos needed for Bone Voyage, you're going to need to do some quests. In my opinion, the easiest five are uh, Hazel Cult, Rune Mysteries, Demon Slayer is pretty easy, and Merlin's Crystal or Priest in Peril. Shield of Arab is also pretty quick, but you need to have a partner to complete the quest. So all of that should get you to 100, and completing all of those quests will get you to 153 kudos. 
As a side note, talking to the lady in red over in the corner also gives you a few experience points. At 51 kudos, she will give you 1,000 mining experience. At 101 kudos, she will give you 2,500 experience in crafting and mining. At 151 kudos, she will give you 4,000 experience in crafting, hunter, prayer, slayer, and smithing. After you complete the Bone Voyage quest and get access to Fossil Island, there are 72 more kudos that you can get by building the fossil exhibits. On Fossil Island, there are a bunch of ways to get fossils. Just from monster drops, to completing the mini achievement diary style task list, buying them with mermaid tier currency, to chopping Seleucep mushroom trees, which is probably the fastest way to get them, but it does require 65 wood cutting and going through the nasty swamp. Once you find a fossil, you can go to the Fossil Island Cleaning Bench to the east of Fossil Island Camp. If you haven't built the Fossil Cleaning Bench yet, you'll need a hammer, five planks, and five nails. Once you've built it, you can clean the fossil by using it on the bench with a rock pick, specimen brush, and trowel in your inventory, and wearing leather boots and gloves. You can store fossils in this box over here, which acts like a fossil exclusive bank. Once you have a set of all pieces from a certain size, you can go back to the museum, Go down two floors, and then you'll see your fossil storage box here too. Grab a set of matching pieces and then use them on a corresponding display case. <laughs> and of course I get the butt one. <laughs> you'll see that you are given kudos and an experience lamp. 2k for a small display, 3.5k for medium, and 5k for a large or plant display. And that pretty much sums up kudos for now, so hope it helped you out, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.